started in 2007 as a library of 200,000 samples. Compounds Australia has grown to a facility of more than 1.5 million compounds. Based at Griffith University's Nathan campus in Brisbane, they're helping researchers to make new biomedical discoveries. The compound is a small molecule, which is essentially a collection of atoms, so things like hydrogen, oxygen, carbon that we're all familiar with. They're joined together by something that's called a bond, which is something really strong to like a gloom between those atoms. So when we get that collection of atoms in the right combination, that compound can have an effect, whether that be an amino acid that makes a protein in our body, a sugar that we need for energy, or a small molecule that is a drug that can be used as a medicine to treat us when we're sick. Compounds from this library can be tested to assist the discovery and development of new medicines and treatments for disease. So it's a bit like a lock and a key. So in a disease, we have that lock, which is a special shape only for that disease, and the compounds are like the keys. So we need, need many, many hundreds of thousands of them just to find the right one. So compound libraries are really important in drug discovery. The idea at that time was to uh, bring the nation's chemistry together, all these compounds that our chemists were making, and to store them, curate them, and make them um, available to the nation's biomedical researchers. Demand for access to these ready-to-use compound plates has increased over the last decade. So has the need to diversify not only the range of compounds available, but also the way in which they are stored and distributed. The nat Natural Product Library was something that was developed when we were in partnership with AstraZeneca. Uh, and from there, when AstraZeneca departed, uh, we needed a place to store compounds. So from there, we went to the Queensland State Government uh, and they gave us the seed funding to build a compound management facility. So as, as we needed the storage capacity, as we needed the processing capacity, we would build on adding in your stores and your, your processing platforms and your new liquid handlers and your new technology. Uh, and that sort of grew to what you see today with all the various partners as they joined. The library now services 42 national and international member organisations who use the facility for storage of their own compound libraries or to access the open library collections. The compound management process, the by quality libraries, the ability to rapidly distribute them, the main benefit of that is to really accelerate biomedical research. And so if we didn't have that in place, discoveries may not happen at all or they may happen much more slowly. 